Trace, that you put five more. You, you, got, you still got five on him at one point, not in this building, but at one point. No, I never even mentioned that to Trace. That's saying about me, man. Those days are long gone for me, but it's a hell of a game for him. You know, he played pretty much the whole game, and I rode him. Um, a few times I, the time I asked him, was he okay? And he said, hey, I'm good, let me go. And so we rode him, I mean, and we needed all 43 points. Mike, were you at all surprised that they were just signaling him the way they did? Early on, I was. Um, I expected, I mean, we we practiced as though, you know, he was going to get trapped the whole game. And they didn't start trapping until the end of the first half. So when I came back into halftime, I tried to put guys in position based on how the, they were going to trap. And we ended up, I mean, there were times he was beating the double team, and then there were times he kicked it out to guys for, you know, wide open shots that were made. So, I mean, that was kind of nice to see as well. Mike, defensively, um, they got you a little bit inside, kind of uh, you know, talk a little bit about that and the fact it was, uh, you know, they had the lead at halftime. Well, again, it's the first time we've been tested. You know, I mean, hey, it's a part of basketball, but as a coach, man, you always want to see what your team is made of. We got down as much as 12. And it wasn't no need to panic or anything like that. I mean, we, we weren't playing well at that particular time. And, you know, I made some substitutions. I came back once we got down 12 with the first unit. And I thought our defense picked back up, and Xavier especially, where early on, when, when Christian got in the game, we just weren't into the ball. You know, Taylor and, and Kinsey controlled our defense pretty much the whole game where they were beating our coverages. We weren't getting to our coverages. And that hadn't happened much since we've been together as a unit. So that's something that we got to work on and make sure that it doesn't happen again like that. Coach, did you feel like at some point in the first half you guys realized, hey, hey, this Marshall team is pretty good and we've got to play a little bit harder? Than uh, you know, I mean, we all watch film. You know, they watch film on them. And, I thought they were prepared and, you know, we don't take anybody lightly. It's, it's not that type of deal. Uh, you know, we knew that they were a good team. They well coached. I know Dan Tony's team. I work with Dan and uh, his offense is as good as it comes, you know. And I thought, again, our coverages weren't solid early on and they were getting behind our defense for our layups. I mean, they had, I think, as many points as we had at halftime in the paint. And that hadn't happened since we've been together as a ball, ball club. So, you know, it's something that uh, we was challenged. I mean, and, hey, you know, it happens in basketball, but me as a coach, I want to see who's going to step up and make plays. And I thought tonight we did that in the second half. Tyler, then we'll finish up with Jim. Coach, how have you seen Trace grow as a, as a vocal leader um, since you took over? Is that something that you've trying to been um, push him along with? Or, you know, how have you just seen him develop with him? Mm -hmm. Not just Trace, when I took over the team, his team didn't say a whole lot, you know what I mean? And, and I told him it's okay to talk some trash amongst each other, you know, the, and, and, you know, the, the, our practices have been so competitive, man, when we, when we do compete in practice against one another. And um, I got everybody now talking, you know, they, they talk trash to me now, so I mean, hey, that's a good thing because we need communication when you play on both ends of the floor. Jim, then we'll wrap up with that. Coach, 15 turnovers tonight, which is more than you usually like, but only I think only six of those came in the second half and a team that basically lives off of turning people over. Were you at least happier with the second half and happier with the fact that you got out of there with 15 turnovers against a team like this? Oh, I'm extremely happy. I mean, at the end of the day, we knew what kind of game we were going to have. I knew it wasn't going to be a low scoring game. I mean, Dan Tony's teams are not like that. They score the ball. And I thought, you know, this, we played the second half better than we played the first. You gave up 42 points in the first half and 37 in the second. So, you know, our defense was pretty solid. They had a few shots coming down the stretch, but for the most part, we were pretty solid in the second half. I know they made the one run, but we were able to answer that run and, and get the cushion that we needed to win the game. 
Uh, you talked about this in, in different ways. We've asked you about this, I think, after other games. But how much does Trace give you as a passer as well? Just when he is kind of that magnet for a defense, his ability to make the skip pass, to kind of see the, the cross-court pass. I think he had maybe three or four assists tonight on threes. Well, again, he's grown in that area. And to make it all look good, God's got to make shots behind those passes. And, and we're starting to make shots. You know what I mean? We... Our three-point shooting tonight was pretty good again. So we're going to need that as we continue this journey as a team. Uh, it can't just be Trace and, you know, and race inside. we got to have guys making plays on the ground <laughs> as well as at the rim. All right, folks, thank All you. All right, guys, thank you.